Hello YouTube, this is just going to be a quick video um, for the mini lathe rebuild part 9, 10 or something, I don't know number it correctly. Um, the URL there, the page up there. Uh, I wrote this guy an email and asked him his name, I really don't know a whole lot about him, but I told him I was going to mention his website in my video. I'm just kind of duplicating but using my own uh, things, uh, using uh, uh, an RC motor. Anyway, so this is my power supply for right now. I have a larger one on order. It's not in, but the motor came in today and the speed controller. And so I'm really excited that I was playing around. Anyway, I'm just using an auto transformer. I got a set of 24 volts uh, DC right now. Um, and it's AC transformer. I got a fuse, full, full wave bridge to get it to DC, and then a capacitor to get rid of the ripple. Um, and this is pretty much the guy's name online. Uh, I got a 60 amp. Skyjacker with the battery elimination circuit, so I don't need to use the um, uh, the regulator like a regulator. And this is a it's a little different than the one he shows, but it was like two of them for twelve bucks on Amazon, and this seems to work fine. Uh, uh, I loaded it up with the prop and. Uh, Free running, it draws about 1.6 amps. With this prop on here, it draws about two, two amps. And then when I handheld it, uh, it went up to 3.5 starting off. And it is a very torquey motor for sure. So, assuming the engineering is right, this will be great. Uh, of course, I don't know. But anyway, I'm just going to spin the motor up and let you guys check it out. And then we'll end this video. And uh, I think the next video will be uh, working on a motor mount. All right. And just another note, I've got this on uh, the, uh, the Skyjacker's got a soft start circuit, and I've got this on super soft, and uh, the timing is standard or low. So I'll crank it up and you'll notice that it takes a while to get to full speed.